Hi everyone, the latest version of FidoS just came out, October 23rd, and so I'll be downloading and installing it in a dual boot setup with Windows and get the Play Store working on it, as by default it doesn't work. You'll need a minimum 8GB USB drive to put the FidoS image on, and on your hard disk at least 10GB of available space as per the documentation. So to get started, go to FidoS.io, download, and you got three options, PC with legacy Intel Core, 3rd gen to 7th gen, PC with newer Intel Core 8th gen to 13th gen, and the third option, PC with AMD, Radeon Discrete, or Integrated Graphics, and AMD or Intel processors, circa 2011 and later. So I have an AMD, and I'm going to be selecting this. And we see here the latest version, version 19.0. I'm going to download. Next, you need to download Rufus. Go to rufus.ie, and it'll allow me to create a bootable USB drive using the FidoS image. Scroll down. And I'm going to download the portable version. And once done, go to your downloads folder. And I'm going to extract the image. I'm going to be using 7-zip. Right click and extract here. And now I'm going to start up Rufus. Yes. Yes. And now select your USB drive. And if it doesn't show up, go to Show Advanced Drive Properties. And you can list your USB hard drives. And mine comes up. I'm using a 256 gigabyte USB drive. And I'm going to select the FidoS image. All right, and I'll leave everything as defaults and hit start. Okay. All right, it's completed. Close. Open up disk management. And disk one is my USB drive. And disk zero is my hard disk. And here's my C drive, and I'm going to shrink it to make room for FidoS. I'm going to be shrinking it by 40 gigabytes. I'm going to be creating two new volumes. One volume is for the EFI partition for FidoS, and another volume for FidoS itself. I'm creating a separate EFI partition for FidoS because if I use the default 100 megabyte EFI partition for the boot files, it's likely they'll get deleted because Microsoft is known for removing anything not related to Windows in the EFI partition, and it could happen after a Windows update. And if those FidoS boot files are not there, then I won't be able to boot into FidoS. So I'm going to create the new partitions. Right click, new simple volume, next. And I'll have it one gigabyte for the EFI partition, next, next, and FAT32. I'll call it FidoS EFI. Next, finish. And the remaining space will be for FID. Next, next, next. Next, FAT. FidoS. Next, finish. Now I'm going to change the partition type for the D drive here so it's seen as an EFI partition. So I'm going to go into disk part, open up command prompt as administrator, disk part, list my disk, will be disk zero, list my partitions, and it's a one gigabyte partition, so it's partition number five, type help set ID, scroll to the top, and I'm going to copy the EFI system partition in the hex form, and then set ID equals paste. Go back into disk management, we see it's seen as an EFI partition now, so that's good. And now I'm going to reboot my computer and go into the BIOS. All right, in my BIOS here, I have secure boot disabled, and under boot, I have fast boot disabled, boot mode select is UFI, and for the boot option number one, I have to change it so it doesn't go into Windows. So I have to change it from the Windows Boot Manager to USB. And then save changes and exit. All right, it's booted into the installation media, language and input method. OK. Get started. Install FidoS, next. 
multi-boot installation, next. Select my final OS target partition, and it's the 38 gigabyte partition that I created in Windows. And the EFI partition is the one gig partition that was created. And I'm going to be installing Refine. Refine is a boot manager, so allow me to boot between Windows and FIDE OS. And then install. So this may take a little bit of time depending on how fast your computer is. All right, installation has finished successfully. Power off your device and then remove any installation media and then power it back on. So I'm going to shut down. And after FIDE OS installed, in my boot options, it has it to boot Windows first and then refined second. So I have to change that. So I have refined first and then save changes and exit. So refine comes up and you got the Windows option, FIDE OS, shut down your computer and restart. So I'm going to go into FIDE. All right, you'll get this screen again. Just go through it. OK, get started. Accept and continue. Accept and continue. And I'm going to use a local account. Use local account. Put in your username and password. Next. Next. Auto. I'm going to uncheck. Get started. All right, so it's booted into FIDE. So we'll notice that there's no Play Store on this. And to get the Play Store working, there are a few things you need to do beforehand. First thing is to activate the Android subsystem. So go into my notifications. I'm going to activate it. I agree. Launch. All right, it's been done. I'm going to close. And next, I'm going to enable developer mode. Go into my settings. FIDE OS settings, enable developer mode, confirm, and restart. Go into FIDE, log in. Next, I'll need to enable the root file system write permission. So open up a terminal, hit Control Alt plus T. Type in shell, sudo in, so sudo space dash I and then run the cross-system mode switch script. And then disable rootfs verification. And it's going to ask to reboot. Yes. Go back into FIDE. Log in. Open up the store. Configure open gapps. Add. Add app, open it up, I agree, next, and install, next, install, and OK. And it's asking to reboot, this will be the last one. Reboot now, go into FIDE, all right, it's booted up and we see the Play Store in the taskbar. And we can also see it here. So I'm going to go into it, sign in. All right, the Play Store comes up as expected. So I can browse. And I'll install an app. Play. And now I'm going to reboot to confirm that I can boot into Windows. Pick Windows. All right, I'm able to boot into Windows. So that's how you can install the latest version of FIDE OS in a dual boot setup with Windows and get the Play Store working. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.